and welcome back to my channel. Thank you very much for watching. As you can see from the title of this video, it's not the kind of thing I usually upload to YouTube, but it is a very cautionary tale. With thankfully, touch wood, thus far, a very happy ending. The video is about not putting your cat in the tumble dryer. This seems quite an obvious thing to not do. Turns out it's not. It's a very easy thing to do, completely by accident. Basically, exactly a week ago, last Monday, I was rushing around in the morning, the kids were getting their breakfast, I went in the other room, I saw the cat jump in the tumble dryer, then I carried on doing something, completely forgot about it, I was sorting all the washing out, as you do, and got the washing down to dry, opened the tumble dryer, because the door had obviously shut, and nothing so I put all the washing in and turned the tumble dryer on and left it and yeah I was still in that room for a little bit because I decided that morning I was going to clean the washer you know the bottom bit of the washing machine out that gets like one pound coins occasionally if you're lucky thought I'd clean that out did that didn't think anything of it went to school dropped the kids off came back from school and it was only at this point that I thought oh what's that smell and then I thought, oh shit, the cat went in the tumble dryer. Did the cat come out of the tumble dryer? It's not something I've ever thought to check before I turn the tumble dryer on, I'll be honest. I've had cats for 12 years. None of them have ever got in the tumble dryer. This cat is clearly a cat who gets in tumble dryers. Not anymore, I don't think. Anyway, I thought, what is that smell? It smelled like cat shit, let's be honest. And then I thought, oh my goodness, the cat is in the tumble dryer. <laughs> and he'd been in the tumble dryer for nearly an hour at this point, around 45 to 50 minutes. So obviously I assumed he was no longer with us, sadly. I kind of went shit, 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 and opened the tumble dryer door, at which point this like bedraggled, poo covered, Thing, just kind of looked at me and went Wah. thankfully my mum was staying I dragged him out of the tumble dryer lay him on the floor ran to the door screamed like a banshee apparently a very polite banshee mum come and help me mum came down to find me like sobbing I said I've tumble dried the cat thankfully she didn't laugh at me she got to work she said right we need to call him down also, thankfully, it's not a typical tumble dryer. It's a condensing one, so it never gets really hot. It takes the moisture out of things, but it never gets really hot. So, whilst mum was kind of dealing with the cat and I was crying, I thought, right, I'll call the vet. The vet said, bring him straight down. He was literally lying on the floor, kind of going, <laughs> he had blood coming out of his mouth. He had blood on his paws and I didn't think he was going to live and I said to the vet he's in absolutely no fit state to travel the half hour it is to the vet I will bring him in when I know he's okay but what can I do now so the vet told me to spray him with water so much as he absolutely hated that I sprayed him with water and he started to calm down um, and started to chill out and started to get annoyed with us which we knew was a good sign. We tried to put a wet tea towel on him and his tail went like this. And then he got up and walked off. And I was like, I think he might be okay. I think this might turn out okay. So that afternoon, when he'd chilled out, calmed down, breathing back to normal, I took him to the vet and the vet gave him a once over and said, he's absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. In fact, the thing the vet said was, at least it wasn't the washing machine. <laughs> yeah. So, a couple of days later, he started coughing, kind of like a chesty cough. So I took him back to the vet. They gave him an anti-inflammatory and some antibiotics. Oh, also his tail had stopped going up. It was just sort of flopping. But it was getting progressively better each day. So I hadn't been too worried about that. Vet said, take him back the next day, she'll check his temperature. And we took him back, and that was on Friday. Took him back and he was absolutely fine. From now on, 
I will always check the washing machine and the tumble dryer before I turn them on without a shadow of doubt. I've learnt my lesson, the cat has definitely learnt a lesson and I definitely hope we won't be get going there again. So what I need to say to you is if you have a cat or a small dog, anything that's likely to jump in a tumble dryer, maybe a rabbit, please check the tumble dryer or the washing machine before you turn it on. I'll let you learn from my very bad mistakes. Thankfully, I can now kind of talk about it without bursting into tears. I do still feel guilty every time I see the cat. Um, and he's kind of a new cat to us as well. We adopted him last year, less than a year ago. I think he's lost a few lives, I'll be honest, but he is still alive. I'm gonna go see if I can get him to come over. He doesn't really like being cuddled though. This is Bella. Bella is a complete softie. She can be held like a baby and she loves it. This is Dylan. He's a tumble dried cat who doesn't like being held like that. Anyway, you've met him now. Proof he's alive. And he's been playing back to normal playing. Happy, kitteny again. Bouncy, springy, tail straight up. He is okay which is excellent, because it could have been a very, very different story. Don't tumble dry your cat. That's my warning to you all. I hope you take that cautionary tale and don't do as I did. Right, I'm off now. I will speak to you all soon. If you've enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to, then please subscribe, and I will see you again soon. All right, bye.